What's up, modern steaders? I was just informed a little while ago we got some fireworks to go to tonight. They don't know, but I'm bringing you guys. So hopefully the quality of the video comes out pretty good at night. You'll find out at the end of the video, so don't miss it. So we got a few things we've got to get done before we leave to go see fireworks later on. I just wanted to thank you guys. We just hit 7,000 subscribers, so I wanted to say hello and thanks to all the new modern steaders. I don't remember who it was, but one of the subscribers left a comment down below and said, hey, why don't you try putting Blackie, your injured Icelandic chick, in with Rufus and his two hens? They'll be nicer on her. So you know what? I went, why didn't I think of that? That was a great idea. So last night, guess where Blackie went? Let's go check on her. Get out of there, come on. She's doing very well. Let's get in there and check her out. She's got all of her feathers grown back in. I don't know how well you can see it. But all her feathers are grown back in. You wanna say hello? Do you wanna say hello? Oh, do you? So as you can see, the Icelandic chickens are treating her really well. So I wanted to say thank you to the subscriber who left that comment. It's worked awesome! And we got her out of our basement. Woohoo! Boy, the tractor looks nice parked over there in that new pad. We're gonna go do some mowing, so let's work smarter and not harder. We're gonna be over by the meat birds, so we might as well bring our water over to them with the tractor. Before we add the weight of the water into the five gallon pail on the chicken tractor, let's move it while it's a little bit lighter still. That worked easy. One thing you always gotta keep your eyes open for when you're mowing is loose rocks. Every year you think, oh, I've been mowing the field, I got the rocks all taken care of. No, the frost pushes them up every winter. So every year you got new rocks to deal with. So just keep your eye out for that every time you mow so you don't hurt your mower.
know what it is, but there is just something so satisfying to me when I'm mowing the field. I really enjoy it. I don't want to do it all the time. I'd rather let the animals do it. And we are building up the fertility right now so we can get more animals out on that pasture. But until we get more animals, first we need to be able to have more grass, but we also need more time to take care of them. For the meantime, we're just going to keep on focusing building our soil fertility with chickens and the tractor. I like to be stingy with my resources. I'm spending the money on mowing my lawn. Might as well get something out of it if I'm not gonna let my animals eat the grass. So what I'm doing right now is I have my chute blowing further out instead of just in like a windrow. And I'm gonna stop mowing my lawn the other way. So I'm blowing it into the field. Before, I was blowing it back in to the grass, along the road, along the wood line, and along my neighbor's field. I want to keep that grass, hay, whatever you want to call it, for myself, for my own field. I'm not going to be able to rake it up this time. I'm not going to have time this weekend to do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to blow it back in the field, in our field, and let that organic material just decompose and rot. The chickens will run over it, they'll scratch it, they'll eat it. The earthworms, all the bugs, all the bacteria are going to love it. So let's keep it on our property and use it. Let's get something out of our diesel fuel. So by doing this, we're doing a few things here. Let me show you. First, we're adding a bunch of organic material to our field. And if there's a bald spot in the lawn, you put more of the organic material there, you're gonna be able to grow better grass. Let's see what else we're doing. Look at all these seed heads. You're mowing all your grass, and if you're leaving the grass clippings there with the seed heads, you're actually reseeding your lawn or your hay field. So you're leaving all these here in place. That's all staying there. All these, those are all seed heads. They're staying here. Flowers, they all have seeds in them. Clover, I'm assuming, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming there's seeds right here, these flowers. So when you're mowing these, boom. Now you're gonna get more clover. That's just staying there, it's rotting. It's adding more organic material. Look at all those seeds. Now you're just gonna re 
replanting your lawn or your hay field, whatever, your pasture, you're replanting it. So there's no need to go to the store and buy seeds. You got it right here on your own property. We just got a comment while we were talking about all the we just got a comment while we were talking about all the grass and the grass clippings and the seeds. Hardiness Approach. Al, you continue to amaze us with your beautiful projects. Thank you, Hardiness Approach. I'll try to keep on amazing you. Hardiness Approach commented, we have more wild strawberries this year also. We let our chickens on them last year also. I'm telling you, you're getting fertilized strawberry seeds back into your pasture. Boom! I mean, think about that. It's just like strawberry seeds on steroids. Pure chicken manure. What wouldn't be any better than that? And then you're also not just getting your strawberry seeds, you're getting all these grass seeds on steroids. Ba boom I mean, look at this field. It works, guys. It works. Don't be afraid of all the weeds. They're there for a purpose. They have a job and a function too, like dandelions. Most people want to get rid of dandelions. They have a long tap root. They're going down, deep down into the soil, and they're bringing up calcium. So if you have a lot of dandelions in your lawn, your pasture, thank them. That means your soil is calcium deficient, and so is your hay for your animals. So it's bringing up the calcium from lower and bringing it up into your field. So that's a good thing. Don't worry about the weeds. You need them. They have a job. So unless you have another attended use for your grass clippings or hay, don't rake it up and just throw it over the bank. Either compost it, feed it to your animals, or just leave it right on your lawn or your field. It's going to feed that grass in return for you. That is organic material and that stuff is powerful. Ready to go see some fireworks? Uh -huh. All right, let's go.